Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today we're playing some more Sims for Seasons. Poor old Salem has fallen asleep in the chair that he's been sat on for, well, the last hour. Talk about his feelings, kind of confide in uh, one of his friends, or, well, you know, it's his buddies. I wouldn't say they're really close, but one of his buddies. And on the way here, he realized it's kind of late probably nobody will show up and before he knew it he fell asleep in the same flipping chair he sat on pondering life just a minute ago it all just seemed so so short ago and it's been hours it's 2 a.m salem has come to this bar it's the um rattles rattle juice bar i think it is um here in oasis springs i really really like this place so um Maybe there should be like a store here. I don't know. Like, what am I thinking anyway? <laughs> what am I thinking about store when poor old Salem is going through heartbreak? Johnny decided to drop by. Not exactly good friends. I mean, I would say friends are the people you hang out with, a talk to, and whatever not. But he and uh, he and Johnny don't not have the closest um, relationship. They're, they're they're okay. They're they're not super close, but they're okay. Um, same with Paulo. Um, they're not super super close but they are you know i guess for okay if i have to believe my boyfriend anyone that's kind of like half decent is like a friend you call them a friend but they're not really your friend they're just a buddy of yours i don't know like i don't know guy things okay i don't know how guys do their friendships i mean if you hold my hair back while i'm puking you're my friend but i think for a guy if you just like laugh about the same fart or something like your friends anyway <laughs> oh my god um, um it's really really happy to see a familiar face but he doesn't know johnny as good as he does paulo so i feel like he's a little bit more hesitant to confide in him about his problems um and i guess <laughs> oh poor <laughs> poor johnny i guess the alcohol got too much we wouldn't really be sitting here and having a drink we usually don't really drink anyway because we know we can't stand liquor at all but we came here and we had a drink because we were kind of thirsty and we're having another one because once you've had one and we're feeling kind of, mm -mm, you know, a second one can come in. Salem must, um, Salem, can I, can I read this? Salem must be having a hard time to be so sad while drunk. Aw, he really is having a hard time in the fact that this game is like, um. anyway. So Salem is obviously very flustered and very sad, but, um, and also very drunk, but he's not the type that would just flirt around with other people. Like he really is not like that. So we don't have to worry about Salem doing any wrong moves. Is Johnny still in the bathroom? I think Johnny just threw up and left. That's great. We weren't really, you know, hoping to confide him anyway, but it would have been kind of nice. So I'm gonna go over here, sit here and kind of drink drink your drinks maybe talk to um kayan ragavan a little bit and just stand to a friend direction kind of drunk talk to him you know sometimes the bartenders are the best persons to list to talk to because they will listen and even if they heard so many stories i feel like it's just great how many you know how many stories they've you know heard and they're still like uh, you know what i'm saying like they know a lot of money then what what they know a lot of story okay whatever you know what i'm giving up on this conversation mm, moving on it's five and we're still sad here just really really drunk and really 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 sad and we're getting kind of tired too been such a mess such a flipping a mess like i don't know what to do i i am just like a mess on the inside i'm hurt i'm heartbroken and if there's one thing that Salem is not good at, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, besides drinking, besides drinking, it's, it's confrontation. Salem is not good at confrontations. He does not know how to hold himself. And once it gets kind of hot and spicy under his feet, he's just like, I, I need to go out. I, I need, I need to just, you know, I, I just need, it looks like all the Caliente sisters are here as well. <laughs> it's kind of random. Uh, we're sat here back in the chair sleeping. We did not expect like to have such a full-blown you know, argument with Cassie. I mean, what could we expect it anyway? I have such a hard time confronting Cassie. Like it's just not in me to confront people and to have arguments. And it just makes me so nervous. Like I'm so awkward when it comes to that. I just don't like that negative energy around me. So instead of, you know, confronting cassie about the whole situation or to confront the whole situation by it. like pull get the situation grab it by the horns you know grab the situation by the horns i just ended up running away and um now i'm sat here looking like a drunk snack on a fun 6 a.m friday morning damn can i say so this bartender is also looking like a snack and 
he's gonna come over here just a little bit i'm not gonna flirt or do anything that he wouldn't do but i'm definitely gonna introduce myself because you know once i'm drunk one when i'm drunk one i'm drunk and two she reminds me of cassie like most npcs are really not that pretty but she's actually kind of decent looking so i mean i'm surprised first of all i'm, su I'm just really surprised about that then she's also kind of blonde and everything just kind of reminds me of of my girlfriend i'm just like mm. and he's having the time of his life he's feeling very very um confident it's not like him to just be like this open and social but uh, this drink could just make him feel so comfortable and so so just 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 a whole different person um but we obviously can't be you know keeping his lifestyle up just going to the bar and uh we're we're way too wasted to realize that there was a bad plan we're just kind of like having a time of our life like yes watch me party a little bit better um confiding in him and anything if i still want to do that i mean come on i don't even know my own name anymore <laughs> right, let's go ahead and just kind of like chin him up just a little bit um you know, it's in a little text. Hey, bro, you want to come for a drink? Um, I'm located here and here and here. Would you come and get me? Perhaps we can go to somewhere else. Whatever you want, bro. I'm fine. Life is good, brother. <laughs> so Paolo actually wants to hang out and go to a cafe together, which is a really, I guess, odd. But you know what? It's fine. <laughs> fine let's 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 head over to a cafe and uh, meet up with paolo like what could possibly paolo decided to bring salem back to his house together with savannah he lives with savannah they're engaged this is savannah's apartment but he just moved in with her i don't know if you guys remember this from last season but this is pretty much uh yeah what it what it looks like hey oh and it's kind of laggy here i don't know i think there's some um, maybe a little bit of bug a little bit of a bug going on currently with this uh, place but whatever i'll try to make the best of it <laughs> anyway salem oh, boy when paulo met up with salem it was just the funniest thing he kept pretending to be an airplane and blowing bubbles with his mouth and paulo was like mm, yeah I, th I think you've had enough boy i think you've had enough Passed out once again, this time in another chair, Salem finds himself at his friend Paolo's house. Obviously, Savannah and Paolo are kind of having a discussion about this thing. Like, how could you bring him home? Like, what happened? He's looking drunk as hell. He is so flipping drunk. Like, I cannot believe you actually brought him back home. And Paolo's like, but like, what was I supposed to do? What was I possibly supposed to do? I couldn't have left him outside. Like, hello, he's drunk. What else am I supposed to do? Cassie can come up, pick him up. I mean, I'm sure if she could, she would have, right? <laughs> Just, man, so simple. He's obviously very, very, very wasted. But he also is very, very tired. Look at this poor man's face. Have you ever seen him look this bad? He looks for ricking like he just died twice and got back up tell him at least the story about you know what happened you know i'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not gonna be a baby daddy he's just he's trying to tell him what happened and how he feels obviously the story isn't really fully you know complete and um making sense but to the best of his abilities right now he is trying to confine in paulo and you know kind of like talking he's really sad the alcohol is kind of like making him sad now you know how there's always mood swings you feel happy you feel great and then it's kind of like you start to feel annoyed and tired and now salem is at the point where she's really really sad and trying to f ask his friend for advice you know like i'm not gonna be a dad my heart is broken like how could she lie to me like did she cheat like there's just all these things all these questions like i have no answer to and oh my god he looks f he looks hella rough but hella fine though those boobs i really need to fix this mod oh my god she came downstairs because she heard um what kind of happened and she's not okay with this she every everything that consists um everything that's about cassie savannah will definitely like stomp her fist in your mouth like if you say something bad she will flipping make sure that that fist of yours comes in from below and come and come out of your mouth oh she will she will do this she will make sure that you will not see the daylight son she will get you for that she loves cassie so much with all her heart she will flipping make sure that you will not see the daylight and um it's not in her place to say this but it's 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 obviously not in her place to talk about this and to say these things but she's like hey you know look i'm not it's not in my place to say this but i i didn't expect you to just leave cassie for what it is and just 
Like after finding out the news, like I thought you were someone else than than this. I thought you were better than this, and you keep walking away from confrontations. Remember when you proposed to Cassie and Cassie said no because it wasn't time for her, and you know what you did? You ran away. You 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 didn't even like have a chance to hear her out. You just left, and you didn't let her hear about you for so long. For months, you pretended like she wasn't a thing, and. She didn't exist anymore, and she wasn't important to you. And how how dare you? How dare you talk about Cassie like this? You two broke up, and then before you got back together, Cassie got pregnant, and then you were together, and she loved you so much she didn't want to break your heart and decided to give it a secret from you until she knew what to do. And maybe she was right. Maybe you, she should have kept it a secret because your reaction is just like like may, she, she's walking downstairs she walked downstairs like really really flipping angry saying maybe she was right for not telling you because definitely with this kind of response I don't think she would, should have ever told you just should have gotten rid of you in the first place Salem I'm very disappointed <laughs> oh my god he's feeling he's feeling really chewed out right now like Savannah definitely gave him the wind from but the, 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 she gave him the wind from front the front wind the wind from the front it sounds way better in dutch just ignore what i just said <laughs> he's like thinking bro your girlfriend is feisty and he's like yeah but i love her for that i love her for that he's like but bro like is nobody does nobody understand my side of the story and he's like bro bro i feel like pablo paulo not pablo paulo is the kind of br it's the kind of dude that would just say bro look listen bro listen there's one thing i know about girls okay they do things for a reason. They follow their heart. They don't follow their instincts. They don't follow their brain. They they, they follow their hearts. And she clearly loved you, man. I could have seen that. I saw that all those years, all those all those months I've been with you. I could see that she loved you, bro. She loves you so much. It's okay, I'm gonna stop with this voice. This is stupid. Anyway, maybe she has a bit of a point. Okay. Yeah, I'm sad about this baby. But should I really take it out on Cassie? Yeah, she hide she hid this from me, right? She hid this from me, but let's Let's just let's just think about this in all honesty while I pass out on the floor. Did you do any crime here? Yeah, she didn't tell us that the baby wasn't ours, but she never said that the baby was mine either. I said that. And on top of that, she got pregnant before when we were, you know, broken up because I was too cowardly to face the problems and I didn't want to confront her about this whole marriage situation. So in the end, whose fault is it? Whose fault is it that this all is happening? Oh my god, poor Salem. He can't possibly stay here forever and he has to confront her eventually. And I don't think right now is the time. I think he needs a good sleep first and maybe a couple more drinks. But he he can't do this any longer. He needs to man up and face his problems. You know, running away is something that kids do. You know, kids don't want to listen to their parents. They run away. They don't want to listen to, conse uh, to consequences. They don't want to face consequences. They just want to avoid everything. They just don't, they don't want to listen. They don't want to hear it. They just want to live their own life and stay out of trouble. <sighs> but he's not a kid. He's a grown adult. Well, at least he's grown. I don't know about the adult part, but he's grown. He's not a kid. He's grown more than a kid. Oh, Poor Cassie has been up all night. She's been exhausted. She had all the time in the world to just stay in bed, but she's in exactly the same spot as we left her in the last part. She's been on bed all day just waiting for Salem to get back home. And this is honestly the cutest. Oh my god. Despite that she, you know, she knows that she did wrong and everything. She's like, I, I can't go to bed. I can't sleep. I need to stay up for Salem because he just ran out and I can't find him. And imagine. Oh, thank you, Miko. She must have just... Honestly, she must have stayed up all night for her to be as tired as Salem. And it's honestly, like, so flipping sweet. Bro, you better make up to her. Okay, you better make up to her. Like, okay, okay, question. What do you guys think? Who is at fault here? Do you think Cassie is the bad person and Salem is all right to behave like this? Or do you think that Salem perhaps is exaggerating a little bit and Cassie has all the rights to feel like she does? Let me know down below. Where the sun doesn't shine and the rain fills your panties. Woohoo! I'm surprised I'm myself a cup of coffee. It's 6 p.m. It's it's pretty much bedtime. And um, 
Cassie, I guess Cassie probably woke up from the sound of some scuffling downstairs or maybe Salem's loud snoring. I mean, I know, does the guy snore? What do you guys think? Do you think Salem is a loud snorer? I mean, it could be. I think she's going to get herself a, a cup of coffee as well. I think uh, both at this, at this time can really, really use it. Um, so let's have him come and sit here for a second. Just drink his coffee think about life think about all the sins and everything else yeah miko i would love to go to um the spice market and all that with you but right now i have some serious um other problems at my head so she's feeling really energized and really happy so i guess she's really really happy to oh she's not sitting next to him. okay you know what this is the kind of thing someone dies when they want to talk to you like this is not the kind of thing they do when there's nothing going on you know like this is the kind of i'm gonna sit here and confront you with my eyes like i'm not gonna talk or say anything but my glare will tell you everything and salem where salem is just like <laughs> salem looks like he just got out of a rehab oh my god he's like i don't oh my god oh he really does not like confrontations oh actually no he's putting his coffee away to talk to her oh my god he's actually gonna do it isn't he okay wait just just a second is he actually gonna do it time to put your big boy panties on you can do this i think he just needs to let out of his frustrations off and say like you look like i always wanted to be a dad and i didn't understand what's going on and, and she's like boy you're lazy no she's not saying that it's just really coincidental that it's just popped up he's just full of questions and he doesn't understand and he, he you know and i guess i can understand you know i can understand where he's coming from and i you know what i feel like i think the two of them should get away for maybe like a romantic weekend let me see love day is coming up next week so maybe next week we should it's it's like almost at the end of the summer maybe at the end of the summer or no i think maybe maybe should we just let me sh should we book something for no but that's kind of like mm, that's a little late how about we book something for like the weekend like book something for like saturday saturday yeah let's book something for saturday and sunday and like come back on monday like that would be nice wouldn't it just the two of us um i don't know who is who is actually initiated and who exactly was like yeah we should do that but i would say that i think it's probably salem saying you know what why don't we just why don't we just take a break like i don't like arguing and i, and I feel like all of this is kind of causing some um some friction between us and, and i don't understand that I, and i need to understand that I, and after having this baby and losing it and everything else in all of his seriousness i think you and i just need need a break together let's just get away together let's talk it all out on a nice little but you know what a holiday where you're just gonna talk about all the things you've done together so it's like or done to each other it's like not the best holiday but it's kind of like um a coming clean like all feelings on the table kind of trip so they're bonding and they're having a they have a great time together but they're also like bonding and instead of you know being really confronted with reality and all that and like having it really strict and scary he tries to line the mood by making it like a holiday so it's like very light and airy it's a way for them to be away but together talk things through yeah probably something like that would be nice i don't know if it's gonna work and all that but it's it's something i could do just get the car rent a car go out into the woods for like a couple days that would be super super nice anyway salem really needs to be and he really needs to, okay i'm just gonna cheat just the energy just a little bit just so i can kind of like do something with them anyway so i'm gonna have him come to the bathroom cassie's feeling much 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 better and i need to empty the bowl and do some of the house chores honestly because our house is getting a little bit messy and i'm starting to not really like the um arrangement anymore like this house is really tiny and i feel like it's almost more perfect for just a starter sim like without having any friends or anything but we're definitely working towards a bigger house with like actual garden and stuff like that but you know i don't know i don't think we should worry about that right now oh my god i think we should get rid of the crib but i don't think salem is ready for that yet poor salem he's not ready for the crib to be gone yet anyway okay so let's have this poor sod get himself into the bath and then i do need to do something for the actual gameplay we have 14 hours to get fit and um yeah I, I i know she just got you know her baby just you know got aborted and it doesn't really work like that that you can just work out like the day after but hey i have 14 hours uh, i kind of need to <laughs> you need to get it done so both of them need to get fit so i'll just have them do that and i'll have her do like an energized box and then 
maybe she can coach him i don't know if she's no she's not good enough enough she's not good enough to coach him yet so after she's done cleaning she's gonna go ahead and try can we do boxing maybe it's the wrong no no no. we can do it we can we can do that okay it's perfect so we're gonna have her do the boxing i don't know how long they've done how, blah, 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 talking too much again talking too fast again that's that's like our goal that's what we want to that's what we want to in life we want to be an inspiration to others um through our music but looking fit and not skinny because like we grew up oh my god if you've seen the other season the girls were like all plastic and they only cared about what they look like and nothing was like inner you know in yourself like comfortable so i might just cheat the energy just a little bit just so we can get this done please don't hate me for this and i'm gonna get salem over here and salem is gonna do an energized um box so hopefully this will help me get my resolutions done we only have 11 hours 10 hours actually to get this done so I better get started on this and then I know Cassie's birthday is coming up soon I keep checking but I know we're fine uh, I wonder how old Betty is oh Betty oh she has oh she has oh whoa Salem that was so that was fast Salem already completed his resolution so how about I'll stop you doing I want I wonder if there's a particular let me see Ooh, he must feel great. Got swole. Ooh, I wonder what else got swole. Okay, that's that's disgusting. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I really don't want to miss my resolution. That will make me feel really bad. So I got no choice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got no choice. Okay, I hope it's not gonna take too long. I mean, how much do we need to do to get fit? Like, well, I guess Salem was probably more fit than what well, we had a baby and all that. Okay, like well, I guess well are we gonna make it are we going to make oh, wait oh we did it oh great great oh my god we finally did it this is great i'm starting to realize that we have a lot of money as well and i feel like this house was perfect for us for like a gift to us and like um well it wasn't necessarily a gift it was just um the first house that we were able to purchase like salem purchased for us so we could live together that was kind of like the whole deal with that but I feel now I have more money and I kind of almost wish that I had a bigger house. So I think what I want them to do is um, perhaps start looking for their forever home. Maybe I don't feel like Cassie and Salem are really like materialistic people. I don't really think they care about where they live. But when I think about this, I, realistically, like do we need a bigger house? No, but just just think about it. We have 60k more we don't really need any furniture we're never going to spend that much we might as well kind of make our house um more spacious like less cramped more spacious have a cat room you know have a room to work like an office have a bigger garden or whatever you know whatever you need because i feel like this house is perfect for like a one person i feel like this house is perfect for like a one sim kind of deal you know um it's it's fun it's nice but it's not big enough to like remain staying here so i feel like both of them are kind of looking into remodeling again now that there's no baby coming i know that in the back of you know her mind cassie's already been planning like thinking you know what am i gonna do with this like what am i gonna do with the extra space like what am i gonna do with the baby room and stuff like that hopefully we can kind of because i don't want to keep it like this it's just constantly going to remind me of a baby that's never going to come and of a situation i never want to encounter again so i definitely would love if we perhaps could turn this um like make this into a bathroom like a big ass bathroom or something maybe just change the layout i think the layout upstairs if i change that up a little bit i think we could get out of like, get a lot from it as well maybe perhaps um you know just i don't know like i need i need to kind of think about it but i could do so much more with it and then perhaps we can renovate the downstairs if i could renovate this a little bit i would have much more like much more use out of this and then perhaps we can turn this into like a fitness room because i think salem is catching up to the whole like thing i think cassie might be inspiring him not only to be more ambitious about himself about a career and be more you know work hard always try to improve yourself but i think he's also um, being inspired to become really fit and healthy and you know 
take things by the balls and the horns and stuff like that so what do you guys think i think uh this is definitely this house definitely deserves kind of like a makeover because right now i don't really think we have the money to really move but i do think we have enough money to do like house renovations which i think personally would be just as good what do you guys think let me know down below anyway in the next episode of course there's gonna be more actual gameplay than just a storyline i like to switch it up just um yeah every now and then anyway i want to thank you guys so much for watching and uh i'll see you guys in the next part bye